we have FHR 360 has got involved uh, in trying to control the burden of NCDs for two reasons. One, we recognized very early, several years ago, that as we put people on treatment for HIV and as they get better, they live longer, they are more at risk of developing some complications due to non-communicable diseases, um, whether it's diabetes or heart disease or so simply some of the metabolic risks that are associated with these diseases. And so the danger is that we will spend $300 in putting somebody on treatment, uh, but then the person can die from a stroke due to hypertension, uh, which would have cost $15 per person per year to treat. So uh, the f that's the first reason why we got involved in NCD, to be, to be able to uh, prolong the lives of people who we are saving from dying from HIV. Um, the second is that with the billions of dollars that have been invested in HIV prevention and treatment, we also then have helped develop a platform, a health delivery platform that can be used to manage uh, other uh, uh, health uh, uh, problems such as non-communicable diseases. And the fact that HIV itself has become a chronic disease lends itself that when you develop that platform to manage somebody for the next 34 years with such a disease, we can use the same platform uh, to manage somebody with diabetes, uh, hypertension, uh, with chronic obstructive uh, uh, respiratory disease, uh, or cardiovascular diseases. And this is uh, something that USAID has emphasized in the last uh, couple of years, that this is what they would like to see. Uh, uh, the FHI 360 and uh, other partners help enhance the de capacity of developing countries not only to manage uh, HIV as a chronic disease but to be able to manage other uh, equally important uh, diseases that are causing very high morbidity and mortality in developing countries.